my friends! Fancy meeting you all here. I am so glad to see you. I feel like it's been a very, very long time since we've talked, since we've seen each other. And for those who are new to my channel, hello there! I'm Michelle the Introvert, and I've actually been sick with a sinus cold for the past week and a half, but thankfully I think I'm coming near the end. I feel a lot better. I still have some recovering to do, I think, just a little tiny bit. But for the most part, I think I'm past the hardest part. And last week, just to be on the safe side, I had asked my daughter Stacy if she could go to the library, the local library, and pick me up two COVID tests. Just to be on the safe side, I wanted to take a test to see if I have COVID or if it was in fact the sinus cold that I had. So Stacy dropped these off on my doorstep, my front doorstep. She said it was a care package. And in each of these boxes is actually five tests. And since I've never had a COVID test done before, I thought that there was only one COVID test per box. But no, there's actually five. So I have some extras here, which I'm actually really, really happy to have. I'm happy to have the extras. And these will go upstairs in a good spot. And Stacy also picked up this here. This is the apple and cinnamon hand soap. She said it was a care package. <laughs> and I'll show you the cute bag that she put it all in. It was very sweet and very thoughtful of her to bring this bag and bring the soap and to pick these up for me. And as it is, I took the test and it was negative. I didn't, I don't have COVID. It was negative, so I was very happy to find that out. It was actually a sigh of relief for me to know that I didn't have COVID. And yes, I just had the sinus cold. And that seems to be going around. A lot of people on Facebook have been saying that they've been having that or going through it or getting rid of it. And there are even some YouTubers out there who are going through it the same time as I am. So I don't feel all alone in this. <laughs> But I'm happy to have these COVID tests handy. And I will say that when I did the COVID test, I felt like I was actually doing a little science experiment. Just the way they have it set up. It was kind of really, really interesting. And you know I like science. But on the positive side, I was just really glad to, really glad to take the test and find out that it was negative. Some of the medicines that I've been taking for this sinus cold have been Neocitrin. And the box is now empty, but I have a second box that I've started. <laughs> and this Advil cold and sinus. Also, Halls for my throat. And Benadryl, because sometimes my ears would get crackly. So I would take one of these. But of course I didn't take them all at once, I paced myself. And I'm starting to feel a lot better. To my relief, I'm starting to feel a lot better. <laughs> In the times where I've been resting and relaxing, trying to get over this cold, I've actually started getting back into the books. And Norma and Vicky, a couple of my viewers, they sent me this Debbie McComer novel and I'm really, really enjoying it. Now that the garden work is all done, I can get back into my books. Fall is here, I can get back into reading again. And I'm really, really enjoying this book. It's Better This Way is the title of this book. And they also gave me a second book written by Debbie McComer, and I'm really looking forward to reading the second one as well. So thanks again, Norman Vicky. I really am enjoying this book. And in this time where I've had to rest quite a bit, it's definitely come in handy. Also, another thing I've been doing in my time of laying on the couch with my blanket and pillow and stuff, <laughs> I've been working on, I have a coloring book. Gerald actually gave me this adult's coloring book. This one is Color the Words of Jesus. And it's really nice and the pencil crayons, um, some pencil crayons came with it as well. And this is one of the pictures I've been working on. <laughs> I've been enjoying it. It's been really nice to color. Even as a kid, I loved coloring. So as an adult, it's nice to be able to still keep coloring. And I have another picture in here that I've been working on. Yes, so this is very, very relaxing having these, these coloring books. Let's see if I can find it here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, there it is. I'm not quite done it, obviously. 
So I'm, I've been working on this one too. And it's been fun and relaxing. And I've been just actually enjoying myself very much. <laughs> For the most part, I just stayed home. I stayed put because I was doing all I could just to get rid of this cold. But we were starting to get low on a few groceries. So a few days ago on Saturday morning, I went out and I wasn't out for very long. I went out to pick up some more car carnation protein breakfast for Joshua and some more yogurt for his breakfast. And I got stocked up on that. Plus I wanted to pick up some things for Thanksgiving because here in Canada, Thanksgiving is just a few days away. It's on Monday, but also Ruth, my friend Ruth, she's a local lady. She puts on a very special bake sale about every few months and all of the money that she raises goes towards buying medicines for the less fortunate. Um, the less fortunate in Dominican Republic, actually. And Ruth has been very, very faithful. She bakes everything, everything, everything at this bake sale she bakes. So Gerald, Stacy, Joshua and I, we always like to support Ruth with this bake sale because it's a very, very good cause. So we found some goodies at Ruth's Bake Sale and all the money raised is going to Dominican Republic for medical supplies. It's a missions bake sale. So we picked up a pumpkin pie, Joshua picked out this blueberry pie and we'll be having those for Thanksgiving next weekend. And there's some goodies here. They look like chocolate haystack cookies and double chocolate chip cookies. Joshua picked those out. And then we have a nice assortment of beautiful squares. I'd also like to show you some of the things that we picked up from Lawton's and Sobeys. So I do have another little haul to show you. At Sobeys they had some ham on sale and this one I bought for $22.15 and usually my budget at Thanksgiving for either a turkey or ham is $25. Lately turkeys have been selling up to $60 to $70 and that's way off my budget. $25 is my budget for ham or turkey. So this it was a really good price $22.15. So we're having ham this Thanksgiving and this cheese was on sale for a decent price. So that'll be for Thanksgiving as well. And that I picked up at Sobeys too. These here I picked up at Lawton's. They were four for $5. This obviously is for Thanksgiving. They had that on for a really good price, good sale price. And of course this as well is for Thanksgiving. Cranberry, cranberry sauce. And the granola bars are for Gerald's lunches because he takes lunches to work. And I bought this at Lawton's as well. Now one thing I found, have found and that is dishwasher soap has really, really increased in price. This used to be about $3.99 to $4.99. And now all the stores really are charging about $6 a box. 
So I don't know, that's pretty high, but we need it. So instead of me buying two, I just bought one. I'm using it sparingly, let me tell you. <laughs> so my friends, that's my little update. And I was very happy to share these hauls with you. It's always a joy just to spend time with you. And if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. And I have more vlogs coming up, so stay tuned and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.